Seattle Engraving Center, the masters of gun customization, featuring incredible detailed engraving, 24 karat gold plating, diamonds, gems, murals, amazing gold accents, first class quality, 100% satisfaction. More bang for your buck from their showroom. Raise money for your charity with a one of a kind prize. Seattle Engraving, you dream it, they will create it. Wildwood Antique Malls, three amazing locations to find your treasures in Florida. Vero Beach, Eustis, Wildwood. 
more than just antiques. Tons of rare collectibles, toys, books, vintage furniture, records, jewelry, and so much more. Open seven days a week. Great staff, clean, and air-conditioned for your shopping pleasure for the whole family. So put it on your bucket list because it's a must-see for these three locations. For more information, wildwoodantiquemalls.com. Bikers Info USA, the first bikers app by bikers, for bikers, and it's free. National and state events, Sturgis and Daytona, Bikers Info USA. Every motorcycle manufacturer, dealer listed, biker products for you and your bike. Bikers Info USA, find the places to go, places to party, places to stay at every event, Bikers Info USA. Download it now, it's free, Bikers Info USA. Hey, 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 it's the John and Heather Show coming to you live from our production studio riding with this fine bunch back here born to ride. And since it's Tuesday, baby, let them know. Oh, honey, it is. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. And it is because we are, we were born, we will be, always will be born to ride, baby. How was that, baby? A little cheesy, but not bad. A little cheesy? I don't think it was cheesy at all. Cheesy, a little cheesy. 
Well, good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing this wonderful evening? Good evening. Hello, Hadisa Tutu. How are you this evening? We have you in. Hello, hello. I love you guys. Gonna pity pat your head, John. We'll all do it for you, Hadisa. Here you go. Pity pat. Pity pat. Pity pat. Pity pat. John's head. Pity pat. Back like the Benny Hill show with the little guy. I don't want to hit you. You don't see the Benny Hill show. Well, sometimes I want to hit you, but don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> remember, the, remember the little guy in the Benny Hill show? Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Benny Hill. I love Benny Hill. Oh, come on. Most women don't like Benny Hill, except my grandma. My grandma loved Benny Hill. Really? Oh, yeah, she thought it was burlesque. Oh. Well, back then it really was. Well, I know Benny, uh, he was a gentleman, according to all the women. Yeah, 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 yeah. They love and him. There's never a sexual harassment suit against him. Ah, so how's everybody doing? What's going on? What's new? How's everybody doing? Well, I would like to tell you what you just saw was something fantastic. fantastic. A big, big surprise that you guys don't know about. But now you do and that is occ roadhouse and burt's barracuda harley davidson mm -hmm. thursday night bike night that's true that's true thursday night bike night at oh, let me pick some up. thursday night bike night at burt's barracuda was off the chain oh it's my tv sorry we got too many tvs in the studio there we go Burt's Barracuda Harley was off the chain. You wouldn't believe it. It, it was must have, been five, six, must have been five, six hundred bikes there, bare minimum. Um, the food was good there. They had the food was and incredible sliders and all kinds God, of yummy stuff. And the way OCC is, they have this big overhang, so you can have like an indoor venue. Like when you it was go huge. To, it was yeah, huge. It was, and they had. Um, what uh, N22 or 22N? N22. N22 playing up on stage. Uh, really, really good show they put on. Female lead vocalists sang Heart to the T. I mean, really, really good. Um, Burt's Barracuda, obviously, their bike selection is, is, is outstanding. Lots of vendors. And vendors. I Great mean, vendors, because I bought lots of stuff. Yeah, the bandanas and everything. Else. I like, bought you know, some you know. bandanas. I mm -hmm. bought. Um, I bought a cute little trinket box for Alexa. Oh, it's just like a coffin, handmade. Handmade. And see through. It's clear plastic with butterflies on it, but it's a coffin. She liked it. She liked it. So it was, it was interesting. It was handmade and it glows in the dark. And it glows in the dark, too. Yeah. That's what the woman was saying. Yeah. So they had lots of stuff. Burt's Barracuda OCC Roadhouse is amazing. It's off the chain. It's big. It's huge. Mm -hmm. When we say big, no, no, it's really we don't big. mean like big. Mm -hmm. We mean like yeah. Oh, then they have like a whole thing about the tunnels inside. They got a lot of their show bikes in there. I oh, tell us have... about all the bikes inside. Oh, yeah, all the famous tunnel bikes are inside there. All the ones you saw from the OCC shows and everything else. They're yeah. all along where mm -hmm. you can see they them. You can, you but can. You can't f and touch the bike. Yeah, there's signs everywhere that say, "Don't, Don't f, f and touch, touch the bike." Wipe your f and feet. Um, what was the uh, other? Don't yeah. f and touch the bike. Yeah, all the bar stools in the place or set up like um uh like choppers with a really back long system they're beautiful yep if you want that 350 dollars a chair a chair but they're cool yeah but, but it was cool. really neat inside you can go inside to have a restaurant you mm -hmm. can order food inside and sit inside uh, you, no or you go outside inside is a little bit more posh posh mm -hmm. um outside is more finger food bar type mm -hmm. and there's um pool there's foosball there's two um, stages i think yeah and uh, a bunch of other games yeah, and things like that a lot for, the, for the show i mean literally for thursday night literally shit five six hundred bikes have been there easy. yeah yeah fran hash is there supporting yeah um, fran hash is the major sponsor thank mm -hmm. you fran hash and then uh born to ride was there obviously and um of course born to ride was mm -hmm. in the house Yes, and everything is really, really looking good for every other Thursday for us on being at Burt's Barracuda for you guys. And, and bringing you some stuff. We'll bring you ooh. some live footage. Oh, yeah. And uh, wonderful pictures of people there and mm. all the beautiful women. Because, oh, yeah. good God, they had some gorgeous yeah. women and there. If you look at our website, go on there. You'll see all the uh, videos and pictures I took from Burt's Barracuda. And I think Wonder Rise will be putting out a couple more. So look for those coming up with uh, all the film footage that we have on there. And it's going to be doing great. And one of the things I'll do a little tease. We're going to be going real soon here. 
up north for Born to Ride. We're going to be going to Cave Springs, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be taking the toy hauler. We're going to be taking the Harley. And hopefully, maybe mix in the, the uh, biker dog will be with us, too. We'll see how that we'll goes. We'll see if we get that's our biker be, dog. That's going to be a new addition to the John and Heather show. It's going to be Vixen, the um, biker, biker dog. dog. And it is a little um, Yorkie. Yorkie. A little Yorkie puppy. It's a miniature Yorkie or little Yorkie puppy, mm -hmm. and she's going to ride with us yep. on the bike. Oh yeah. We're gonna give you all the footage of how we learn. We've got a helmet for her and goggles. And, and we're gonna yeah. learn about how to train the dog to right. ride the motorcycle yeah. because you don't just automatic automatically mm -hmm. put the dog on the bike. It's a five pound dog fully when it gets fully grown. If she's five pounds. Yeah, if she well mom and dad were like four or five pounds. Right. Too, so if she gets to be four or five pounds, it's gonna be a lot. She's not like uh Aries or other wonder dog that we have. That's my um my Siberian husky. My Siberian husky pit mix. And um this one is a purebred Yorkie. And know. she's about this big. That's it. We got a picture of her today. Where's the picture on the phone? We're gonna take the phone. She's gonna pull a picture up with the phone. I'll hold it up here. I'll tell you right now, this dog is is, is uh, cute. I mean, um, I'm a big dog person, but I'm gonna to have to kind of get used to a little dog. Yeah. Got it, baby. Yes. Oh, what'd you do? She pressed the wrong button. No, I didn't. There you go. All right. Now look at this. You ready, guys? That's the puppy. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. We just got the picture. Just we got, would have put it up for yeah, you. Yep. Yeah, look at that. And it's on our website right now. And if you notice, that's the hand of the breeder right there. So that puppy is just as big as the hand. So it's a little tiny guy. It's a little female. Too. That's Vixen. Vixen. And her name is short. It's going to be V V E E. We're going to monogram everything with it. Yeah, so Vixen's going to be riding with us, and we're going to give you new footage of how we learn about riding and training a dog to ride with us why not we're going to make an episode of it and we also, lots of episodes yeah, so of we'll, how we learn about it and also the thing that goes on the back of the bike that uh, al's on there Ooh. and the thing that goes on the back of the bike that the dog goes inside you know and a little papoose and all that other fun stuff so it's going to be pretty cool hi al hey, how are you doing al good so evening al lights over there man with nine lives that's right this man has survived Two, two tours, horrific accidents. Two tours in Nam, two horrific accidents, and he's still up walking around like nothing happened. We love you, Al Lights. Love you, Al. You are an amazing man. We love, love you, buddy. Love, buddy. All right. So, we'll the video? yeah, we're going to watch a video now, guys. I hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. We're going to rock and watch a video right now. This is a Born to Ride video, and uh, this is one from Brevard County, and it's the Brevard Ride that Fran Hash sponsored. And we're going to go ahead and show you the Brevard Law Ride. So, let's go ahead and get that started. The Brevard Law Ride raises funds by hosting an annual motorcycle ride escorted by local law enforcement agencies through the sale of t-shirts, hats, coins, keychains, and decals. All proceeds are used in support of law enforcement charities supporting officers and their families. A special thank you to attorney Fran Hodge at 866-LAW-FRAN for supporting this event and giving it the coverage it deserves. 17 law enforcement officers have been killed in the line of duty in Brevard County and the ride works to honor their memories as well as all the others who have sacrificed their service for the community. The American Police Hall of Fame and the Museum of Fallen Heroes ride was held Saturday, May 14th. The ride was to honor our fallen heroes as well as others and recognize those who put their lives on the line for us on a daily basis. The museum was founded in 1960 in Northport, Florida by Gerald Ardenberg. He was a police officer injured in the line of duty by a drunk driver in 1955. It was his dream to build a memorial to honor all law enforcement officers killed in line of duty. Those that pay the ultimate sacrifice to keep the peace, to protect, and to serve. The museum was moved from Northport to the former FBI building in Miami, Florida in 1990. This building had three floors. By 2000, this facility became too small to house the growing number of exhibits as well as the growing number of names in the memorial. In 2001, the building began on the museum in Titusville. This facility opened in May 2003 
The Space Coast area was chosen because of its proximity to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame, and of course, Orlando. The museum is supported and maintained by the National Association of Chief of Police. Again, thank you to Attorney Fran Hodge at 866-LAW-FRAN, lawfran.com, for all she does to support the biker community and the power of kindness. Ron Galetti from Born to Ride says, if you get in a jam or accident with your car, truck, or motorcycle, call my attorney and yours, Attorney Fran Hodge at 866-LAW-FRAN. Ready for the biggest, baddest, most patriotic celebration. Heroes Honor Festival, May 27 and 28 at Daytona International Speedway. Get tickets today. HeroesHonorFestival.com. Hi, Toby Keith here. Come rock out with me and honor our nation's Vietnam vets at the Heroes Honor Festival this coming Memorial Day weekend at the Daytona International Speedway. Join me. And let's give our Vietnam vets the welcome they deserve. Like generations before them, when duty called, they answered with unflinching bravery, with a hero's honor. But when they returned home, they were not met with a welcome. In fact, they were shamed, blamed, and rejected. The ripple effects of this are still felt by the veterans and their families today. And yet, despite the rejection, they still became guardians of honor for all those who served after them. Like true heroes, they never again allowed other warriors to be dishonored. As a nation, we're coming together to celebrate and honor these heroes the way they should have been honored five decades ago at the largest celebration of Vietnam veterans ever assembled to recognize them, to honor them and their families with the truth of their heroism, humanitarianism, courage, and sacrifice. To fully and finally welcome them home. Together, we're giving our Vietnam veterans a tribute so meaningful, it will change history. Get ready for the biggest, baddest, most patriotic celebration. Heroes Honor Festival, May 27 and 28 at Daytona International Speedway. Get tickets today, heroeshonorfestival.com. For any veteran who is watching this, there is something that we relate on, and that's that, man, there is nothing that you think about more while you are in combat. We dream about it. We fantasize about it. It is that moment where we get to come home. And for me, there was an experience that helped shape the rest of my life in that when we came into the airfield, we were met by a group of men that were there to protect our welcome home. You see, this was during a time where uh, protesters were beginning to show up at the funerals of Iraq veterans who had been killed in combat. And it was Vietnam veterans that rose up and said, never again are we gonna allow anyone who has served in war from the United States of America to be shamed the way that we were shamed. And so they rose up and they began to protect and show up at every single welcome home ceremony and every funeral of anyone who was serving in the 9-11 conflicts. So we're on the bus coming into the airfield and I see all these bikers and they've got flags on the back of their bikes. And as we pulled off and, and walked off the bus, the first thing I see is a hundred Vietnam veterans lined up shoulder to shoulder holding the American flag, guarding my welcome home. 
And so I was able to have that moment with my family. I was able to have that experience of coming home and to begin the healing process from war. And for our Vietnam veteran fathers, that was not the case. So many of them, when they came back and they walked off the planes where they were expecting to receive a welcome home, they were met with shame. They were met with blame. They were met with protesters who called them baby killers. And so these men, after being shamed by this nation, they rose up and they said, never again will we allow this to happen. And they guarded our welcome home. About five years ago, after I'd started Engage Your Destiny, it was our mission to bring hope and healing to our veterans and to the military. And one day I was home taking care of my dad who was passing away from cancer. And there's no other way to put it, but I saw a vision. I was walking through our living room and I was in the middle of doing something and then this picture just opened up in front of my eyes and it was this massive stadium that was filled with tens of thousands of Vietnam veterans. And I don't know how I knew they were Vietnam veterans, but I knew it and I saw it. And then the vision zoomed in on this one Vietnam veteran and tears were just streaming down his eyes because he was healing and he was being welcomed home. And it was in that moment that I knew I was receiving a call to bring a movement of honor to these men and to bring it across this nation. And so that is why in 2022, we are hosting the Heroes Honor Festival at the Daytona International Speedway, where we are gonna give our Vietnam veteran fathers, their families, and anyone else who's coming to support the biggest, baddest, most patriotic welcome home, the welcome home you deserve. Thank you, God bless you, and we can't wait to see you there. Get ready. Wow, that was so touching and so moving. And guess who's going to be there? We are. We are. Yeah, we're going to be there on Saturday to bring you all the footage and all the festivities that's there. Um, and we'll also, John is a vet. Mm -hmm. And there's yeah, something for him. Um, also, if you are a vet, this is something for you. And mm -hmm. I hope that you will take part in this it is free please go um this is friday and saturday this is the daytona international speedway so it's a monstrous venue and al lights if you're watching i hope that you go we yeah. expect to see you there my friend definitely it's, i mean if you haven't been to the daytona speedway it's like it's huge it's huge it's like a, you have to drive from one side to the other it's like a mile I mean, it's monstrous. The infield on this thing is probably 50 acres. I mean, it's huge. So if it's going to be there and they're going to do that big flag on Furley, the flag's like an acre and a half. Yeah, it's going to be so special, mm -hmm. so touching, so moving. Um, like, I got I'm, tears I'm already. Sure. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if DeSantis or Trump is there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying that. We never know who will be there, but it's going to be yeah, great. And we hope bad, that you yeah. will be there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to switch gears because uh, we completed a, um, a um, video. video that Heather and I did, uh, what was it, the uh, second week in April. April. It's always the Cares Pinwheel Run. Now the Cares Pinwheel Oh, wait, hold right. on. Gene, how is wow. it? What do you say? I've Al said, I've always been proud to be a Vietnam vet. I will be. Until the day I die. All right, Al. Yeah, we love you, five. Al. I... Rock! Except for five, brother. That's right, Al. We love you. Yep, and uh, Al, I hope you're going to be there because we're going to be there and we may even get VIP, so it would be nice. Yeah, we hope so. Yeah, we hope so. So if that's the case, you know, we'll be able to get pretty close to Toby Keith. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope that we get to meet Toby Keith yeah, and we get I to ask so. him some questions. Mm -hmm. It will be really neat if we got to interview you're Toby. Get struck, aren't you? No, not at all. It would be neat to ask really? him some questions. Yeah, he, okay. he's a really neat down to earth man. I'd well, like to ask him some questions. Yeah, he does seem well. You've never met him before. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've never met the gentleman either, but I'm sure he is. I mean, every time I see him or anything, I'm sure yeah, he's it would be neat to done. ask him some questions. Yeah, just a couple of questions. Just give him five five minutes of his yeah. time, you know. Yeah. Thank you for being here and, and so forth. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, so we were switching gears and we were starting to tell you about a ride, a really great ride. Here's pinwheel run that we did. Uh 
It's the second week in April every year, and what does it say? I'm going to try to make it on the 27th. That's, that's Saturday. That's right? Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's where, where we're, we're going, going now. now. We'll that's see you there. Going. Yes, we'll definitely see you there, brother. So we went on the Cares Pinwheel Run. The Cares Pinwheel Run's the second week in April every year. This is the fifth annual Pinwheel the Run. Fifth, fifth annual. annual. They mm -hmm. made it to the fifth annual mm -hmm. Bikers Care Pinwheel, Pinwheel Run. Pinwheel is the national sign for child abuse, child awareness. And um, the two people that were in charge of that are Guard Dog and Ninja, two good friends of ours. And Ninja, that, um, I believe, is watching right yeah, now. She is, I think she is watching. So if you're watching out there, Ninja, hello. Hi, Ninja. Okay. And it's a wonderful ride. It raised a good amount of money. All the proceeds go to the Cares Foundation 100%, which is just fabulous for that. Yes. And um, a lot of other agencies that are in the whole Citrus area all came together for this event. We had a nice ride that was uh, guided by the, um, the police department. The Citrus, Citrus County Sheriff's. Citrus Sheriff. County Sheriff's Department. You'll see that. And I literally rode right next to Pete behind the sheriff. And it was just weird riding behind. I think I mentioned this on our last show. It was, it it was got, really we weird. Were riding behind the cop with the lights flashing. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird riding behind a cop with the lights flashing. I don't think, I think I'd need to go into it too much more than that. But you, you know how it is. So anyway, I did a 20 mile I'm not going to jail. I, it was weird. Yep. And trying just to come as close as I could to the cops, which was even more weird. So anyway, we had a good time. We were able to uh, do that and ended off at Harley where the band Torn put on a really good concert. The singer's pretty cool. He got out, ran around singing to the people. Yeah, they around. had um, uh, Biker's Care did the ride. Mm -hmm. It was a really good escorted ride. And Torn did the uh, music. And uh, we rode to Crystal oh, Harley Davidson mm -hmm. and then Torn was playing, like you said, mm -hmm. and Biker's Care was there. With and a bunch of um and a prizes. Uh, yeah, they, well they had a bunch of um the indoor partnering, yes. a bunch of their partnering yes. the organizations partners. that were giving away a bunch of prizes yes. and they did a 50 50. They did the, uh, the indoor poker run. The indoor uh poker run. Yeah, they, they also had a four hundred dollar prize on that. Yeah. Then and they had the Yeti cooler. I'm sorry to put they had the Yeti cooler, the Loman Low the, the one that I by, wanted to win. Yeah, donated by Loman Law Firm. Very nice. Thank you, Loman Law Firm, for donating their cooler for that organization. And, and they had the on. awesome raffle card. Oh yeah, they, you donate 20 and stick your hand and you pull out a card. You're it's guaranteed 20, to win a 20. At least 20. So you know either way you're money. guaranteed to win. Yep, those are donated cards, but the cash gets to stay with the cares foundation and the cards were donated so you're paying for the card that's already paid for so they get to keep the money exactly so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you this amazing ride a lot of interviews with people too that are involved so you'll you'll see i try to keep it interesting so you can see all the interviews and the ride footage so go ahead and enjoy the video i going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and show you it and uh we hope you enjoy it it's really a great video for a great cause yes bikers care is an amazing organization yeah. they do operate all year long, 365 days, right. uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, they are open. They do have a hotline. There is the hotline number, which I have. It is on here. You can use it. Um, also, if they, if you would like to donate, we will please, please, they do need donations at any point open in time. Open up your hearts and your wallets too. Yes, definitely. Open up your wallets because they do need Heart the help. Home. Hearts and wallets, exactly. So let's go ahead and show you this. Ride, and I am really excited because this is a fantastic ride that helps something that is very near and dear to me. It helps children. This is fantastic because what we do is we help children all around the county. And I'm here with Guard Dog and Ninja and Spot, and they're all going to tell us how many children we help in the different counties that we help. So we're going to start with Guard Dog. How are you doing today, Guard Dog? Good. I'm good. Beautiful day for a ride. Please tell me, how many counties? we help what we do and correct me if I was wrong and lets me hear what we're doing today sure um, this is our fifth annual event and we're very fortunate to be partnering with the local child advocacy centers that serve children in Citrus Hernando Sumter Lake 
and Pasco counties. Wow. So wherever these guys and gals are coming from, any money they donate, and we want your money. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, we do. We do. And it's going to go back to your communities. And it's going to be helping those people who are right there at the front lines, helping children who've been seriously hurt. That's fantastic. Really is. Hi, Spot. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Oh, you have beautiful earrings. Aren't they cool? Yes, they are. Found them for us. And they're pinwheels. Yes, they are. For the pinwheel ride. So tell me what the pinwheel ride does. It helps children, correct? Yes. It goes, all the profits that we receive during the run goes directly back to the services that we are collecting for. A hundred percent, correct? That's fantastic. That's the goal. <laughs> that is wonderful. Money. We want your money. That is the key word, correct? In your pocket. Tell me about that. Tell me about the auction and everything we have going on. A uh, basket auction. We're going to auction off some really awesome stuff. We have a huge painting that somebody donated and painted. That is a large pinwheel. It's the most awesome thing I've ever seen. We have an inside poker run. We're going to have a fifth. We have a mystery gift we're going to auction off. There's all kinds of stuff going on at Harley. So come on out and empty your pockets for us. That is right. We have a fantastic day planned. We have an amazing ride planned, correct? I think it's an escorted ride, isn't it? We also have a, um, a pinwheel truck coming with uh, rolling advertisements on it on the side so that's going to be parked at harley as well it's going to be following or leading the ride we don't know which one yet and it's going to be parked right out in front of harley to let everybody know about the agencies and know about what's going on today and have some stuff about the pinwheels that's fantastic and if anybody wants to learn about the agencies or learn about where their dollar goes and learn about what they can do to help the children or maybe partner up with you and become what you do they're able to do that and join Bikers Care, correct? Sure. I mean, we're always open to uh, to people who are interested in, in doing similar work uh, in the counties that they live in. Uh, we'd love to talk to them. They can always go to bikers-care.org uh, for our website, or we're not hard to find on Facebook. Yeah, I was on the Facebook page this morning, and it's a beautiful uh, page and layout, and it's really neat. If people are interested, you could go right on Facebook, check out the Bikers Care page. It's very informative, has lots of things, very informative page, and uh, I highly suggest it for anybody to uh, go on there, get your information, and definitely check it out. Join Ninja, join Spot, join Guard Dog, and become one with us. That's it. That's it. Come on down. Money. That's right. Bring your money. Bring your money because we definitely need it for these children. They need your help and we want to give it to them. So please come on down. It's not too late for you to join us. Come on down for the ride. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We want to have you down here, don't we? We sure do. All right. Don't forget we have a also a um a gift card lottery we're doing today as well that I forgot to mention. Do we? Uh, you get uh, you pay twenty dollars to get at least a twenty dollar gift card, so it's a no brainer. You're at least going to get your twenty dollars back. We got gift cards from all over the place. Wow, gift cards! That sounds fantastic. I want to join that one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. So, Spot, it sounds like a really great day. This sounds like a lot of fun. Are you going to be riding today? No, I've got my little red caboose that I will be taking back to Harley. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll see you over there. All right. Well, thank you so much. It sounds like a lot of fun. And thank you so much for all the hard work that you all do. This is a fantastic thing. And for all the years that we've done this, I am just so touched to be part of this and to be with you all. I think, what is this? This is the fifth, fifth year. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. And we've come a long way. I mean, look at this already. And it's not even close to official registration time yet. No. Right? So, yeah, we're looking for a big crowd. Yeah. And we got to say, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you and John helping us get the word out there, sharing our message. Because that's really what it's all about is to raise awareness. Yeah, we're raising money today. But more importantly, we want people to know that, you know, the kids are getting hurt by the people who are supposed to love and protect them. Who's going to look out for them if we don't? You know, that's what we need to get that message out. Don't turn a blind eye. Don't wait to have absolute 100% proof. If you suspect that a, a child is in danger, at risk, pick up the phone, make the call, and, and you, you might be saving that child's life. Yeah, unfortunately, isn't it true what I've heard you say is usually it's mostly a family member that hurts the child? Yep. 
Yep, about 90% of the cases, it's someone uh, in the family or close to the family, someone the child knows, loves, um, supposedly supposed to be protected by. Uh, it's that it's it could even be the the neighbor, the babysitter, the, the uh, youth pastor, the teacher. We just had a, a guy in uh, Bloomingdale High School made the news. Uh, a football coach, um, a guy finally came, you know, young man finally came forward. Um, he'd been victimized 50 times by this coach. And once the word got out, at least one victim, another victim has come forward that I know of. I don't know if any more have. Uh, but this is what's going on in the world, you know. But, uh, again, you know, if you suspect a child's at risk, then, then pick up the phone. And not just sexual abuse. We've seen instances where people have noticed that maybe a child looked a little thin, bruised in ways that a child shouldn't be bruised. And you see him out in public. Pick up the phone. There have been numerous instances here lately that we've seen in the news around the country where people did that and they literally saved that child's life. You know, so again, don't turn a blind eye. If you if you have any suspicion, go with your gut. If your gut tells you something's wrong, something's wrong. Make the phone call. Make that call. Make that phone call. Definitely. It's important. Do make that call. This ride. Hi, thanks. How are you today? Great. How about y'all? I'm fine, thank you. So how do you feel about this ride and the fact that this ride helps take time and save children and help to help, well, let me get it, spit it out, help save children and your time helps give them the time they need to save them from their abusers? I think every children needs a head start in life and whether it's physical or mental abuse, it's it's something that'll hold a child back for the rest of their life most of the time, you know. So any little bit helps and as you can see we've got a whole bunch of people out here that feel the same way. Yeah, this is fantastic. It is. It's a great ride. This is my second year doing it. Oh, that's great. You've come back. Thank you so much for your support. No, you're welcome. And did you know that 100% of your money, 100% goes for the children? And that's why I do this one. Because a lot of charities, percentages only go to order. And this is a 100% deal. That's fantastic. Yeah, like you said, not a lot of charities give 100%. Yeah, they, they kind of keep a little bit for themselves. So, And I want my money to go all the way to the children. That's great. And did you know that most of the time an abuser, I didn't know this, but most of the time an abuser is someone that's usually closer to the child? Right. Yeah, it's usually a family member or even a close family friend. I didn't know that. That's sad. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the way life is, though, I guess, until more people speak up about it. You know, somebody's got to speak for the children. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I would do. I have two daughters, and if I found out that somebody was abusing my child. Yeah, I have eight kids, so. Eight? Yeah. You have a basketball team. <laughs> I do. <laughs> hey, but I love them all, uh, you know, and equally. In fact, my birthday is next week, and two of my daughters are flying in for it. So. Happy birthday. Yeah, be nice. How are you going to be 21? Uh, I wish. <laughs> I'll be 52. Well, happy birthday yeah. to you. All right. Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. I'm so glad that you're here for the ride. Thank you so much for supporting this ride and helping these children. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm, thank Hi, you. Flip. How are you? I'm doing very good. Well, obviously, I'm here because I'm with Bikers Against Trafficking, and a lot of children who are abused wind up being trafficked. So Bikers Against Trafficking exists to eradicate human sex trafficking. We do that in two ways. We provide education and awareness and we provide services. So this is a perfect event for all of us at Bikers Against Trafficking to be here and come out and support. Exactly, I was gonna ask you a little bit about your foundation, what you do, and how that can tie into Bikers Care and the Pinwheel Ride. So we were founded in 2016 in Lake Mary, Florida. Uh, we provide trauma therapy and addiction counseling for people who were in the life. Uh, we provide any service that people need when they leave the life. We have 14 chapters throughout the country, and our biggest goal is to provide housing. Fantastic. And that helps people who have been in the trafficking, correct? That's, that's correct. And we also have a lot of children who have aged out of the system, and uh, they are actually victimized because they're, at, they're vulnerable. They're at risk. So... We, we not only work with adults, we work with children who've been aged out of the system, 18 years old or so. 
So tell me a little bit about how this makes you feel coming today, knowing that what you're doing, you're not working today, but you're here as a civilian and you're donating your time. Yeah, well, I'm here because just like everybody needs to volunteer their time and, and reach out and help children and help people who are in need. So the biker community is a great community. It's one of the best communities I know. There's a lot of people who care and uh, it's all about love. And uh, we support Bikers Care, they support us and what goes around comes around. Exactly, fantastic flip. Couldn't have said it better. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Children. Hi Bill, hi, hi Angela. So tell me a little bit about why you decided to come and spend and donate your time. Well, I don't think there's anything better than doing something like this. Um, nothing more important than helping abused children. And um, this is just a great, great, looks like a great turnout too. And I'm just very, very happy to be able to be here and support it. So Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That yeah. means a lot. Good. Thank you. And how about you, Angel? How do you feel about this, knowing that you are helping abuse children? Yeah, it makes me feel good. Um, I think every child needs needs a safe place and and be feel like they're feel safe and have somewhere to go. I, I so fully good. support. How are you? I'm wonderful, and I'm just happy to be out here and supporting this and helping to take care of the children because no child deserves to be abused. That's absolutely right. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And you're here with Stilettos on Steel. Steel. Um, we're the Chain of Lakes chapter out of Lake County. Um, there's actually about seven of us over here today. So. Well, thank you for bringing Stilettos on Steel out here. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. And yourself? Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> and you are with? I, I, well, this is my wife. She's with the Stilettos. I'm just riding along today. Well, that's nice. Thank you for representing your wife. It's, it's my pleasure, always. Always. And how do you feel knowing that you're helping children today? Well, as a retired law enforcement officer, I can tell you that uh, I, I uh, support this very much. Uh, I, I've seen many things over my years on the job uh, involving children, uh, domestic violence, things like that. I'm strongly opposed to anything like that. I feel people that do things like that should pay the ultimate price, uh, whatever the law will uh, provide for them to be punished. For doing such a thing no child should ever ever have to live through something like that and so i'm fully supportive of this i can imagine you've seen some pretty horrific things in your in your life a few things uh, several of my friends here are also retired law enforcement and they sh probably share the same sentiment uh, in fact i'm sure that they do so well i thank you for coming and thank you for your past service appreciate that thank you thank you how you all doing today gentlemen can't complain. Living the life. Living the life, are you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Retired. So. Thank you for your service. My pleasure. My honor. And tell me a little bit, sir, how do you feel knowing that your donations, 100% of that, not 90, not 80, but 100% goes back to the organizations that help the children who are abused? Well, like. Andy just spoke about that. We have both work in law enforcement as well as the next gentleman you're going to talk to. And we've seen so much injustice to the kids and the crime that it does hurt. And you want to do something to the extreme, but you're within the control, so you do. So this is a good cause. And if the money's going 100%, more power to you all. Exactly. Thank you so much. And yes, 100% goes. And that's fantastic. And after this, we'll be going to Harley Davidson and we'll be having an auction and lots of prizes will be there and music and it'll be a lot of fun. And thank you so much for coming. Awesome. It's our pleasure. The Nav Knights, would, well, I'm representing them today. They're all busy doing other runs, but we, re we support the community in every way. Well, thank you, Nam Knights. Thank you. How are you doing, sir? Good. And you're with the Defenders? Yes, I am. Thank you for the Defenders, sir. Thank you. Um, like that, like them, I'm a retired law enforcement officer, and you know, and we've seen abused children have been called to houses and see how they're living sometimes, the living conditions, and you know, and the best thing you can do is get an abused child out of that type of environment. You know, if not, it's just a vicious cycle. They, they become abusers themselves. So if this money goes to support them and help them get them out of the situation, we support 100%. I can imagine it's got to be pretty, pretty, 
probably very upsetting for you to go in and see a young child in a very abusive situation and not be able to only, do what you want to do. Yeah, there's only so much we can do. Um, you know, we can get him out of that situation for for a temporary, you know, for that night. But, you know, it's up to the courts to help these children and get him out of that situation and prosecute the cases that we bring to him. Well, I thank you for your service. I thank you for your history of doing what you've done to help the children. And it means a lot so to me. So just real quick, I'm not going to take up a lot of time so we can get on the road. Our message is on this great billboard that the state provided for this event. We want to thank them. Outsprevention.org is their website. What I want to tell you today is, hope you brought your wallets. Because I want your money. And I want you to get pissed off enough that you want to help us in that fight against child abuse. We got some great stuff waiting for you at the Harley shop. We got a great band. We've got a silent raffle with some awesome stuff. We've got a 50-50, uh, of course. We've got a new thing you may not have heard of. It's gift card lottery. 20 bucks, get you, dip your hand in there, grab a gift card, guarantee you get at least 20 bucks back. So it's a win-win for everybody. And inside the Harley shop is gonna be an indoor poker run, $20 buy-in, $400 cash prize for best hand. $100 for worst hand. So please, 100% of everything that we raise today goes to the Child Advocacy Centers that serve Citrus, Hernando, Lake, Sumter, and Pasco County. So pretty much wherever you all are from, you're going to be helping kids in your community. So again, thanks for coming out. Have a safe ride and have a great time at Harley. We'll see you there. wonderful cause take advantage of everything they have at Harley it's gonna go to a good place um, this organization combats something that we in law enforcement work every single day to try to stop our we try to make our kids safer and it's a phenomenal organization and if you can do it then do it from from all of us from all of our hearts um, so I definitely am not going to cry. Not to worry about that. <laughs> Today, how many of you have ridden with us before? Beautiful. Gosh, we got a lot of new people. Yeah, yeah we That's do. Great. All right, you will notice you guys are all lined up in pretty lines. Did a beautiful job parking, by the way. Stay in your line. All right. Everything is done today for a reason, and that reason is to keep you safe, all right? Do not be tempted to jump out of your line because somebody else in front of you didn't leave quick enough, okay? Just be patient. We're going to follow out of here, go out to Main Street. From Main Street, we will head south on 41. We're going to take stagecoach across to 491, north on 491, across Grover Cleveland, North on 19, right into Harley, okay? It's a beautiful way, it's a beautiful ride. Single lanes and right turns most of the way. You're gonna enjoy it, all right?
Guys, sorry about that. We had to end it because we're getting ready to end the show. We're running out of time, but if you want to go and see that video in its entirety, you can go and see that on our YouTube page. Please like and subscribe. Hit that like button down there, the thumbs up button. Bing, that, boom, smash it. It messes up the algorithm, lets us go out to more places, and um, we just really appreciate it. Yes, right? we do. Yeah, and more subscribers. Yes, get your friends and get your family. Please get some and get them to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you get to watch this video in its entirety and open up your hearts and your wallets to Bikers Care and make a donation because we do need your help to help stop this abuse for children. Now, you went ahead and put the information in the uh, link in the bottom. Right? And the link in the bottom in the description. Yep, the it is in the description of the entirety it is in the description it is there for bikers care so again open up your hearts open up your wallets get mad enough to end this that's right we don't want to have any more children being abused that's true and then next week we'll be bringing you live footage from the daytona international speedway and 
all the festivities and the heroes honoring the heroes, heroes festival. Yeah, heroes festival which should be crazy because that place packs hundreds of thousands of people, man. It's just gonna be nuts. So anyway, we'll be there on Saturday. It looks like we're gonna have a friend of ours come with us, and it was just nice having this show tonight. And what we want to tell you is keep the shiny side rubbers shiny that ah, shiny side rubber side down, shiny side up. I think I got no, shiny side up, oh, rubber side down. Wow, I didn't get that out right. It's the end of the show, guys. Very sorry about that. Producers, we love you all. Yes, we do. And you all have a wonderful night. Have a great week. And remember, be nice to everybody because yeah. you never know what somebody else is going through. That's true. Have a wonderful day. And we love you all. <laughs>